Hi, I'm Jinx, and welcome to Anyland. This video, I'm doing a tutorial on how to make your hand open and close with the press of your trigger on your controller. In doing this tutorial, I'm also going to show off a few different ways to copy a script from one state to another, and one state of one part to a completely different part. There are a few methods of doing that. The other thing I'm going to show off with this is how to make a left and a right hand at the same time using the symmetry mirrored options when building, which works for almost every kind of part, and then how to split that off and then have two separate hands. We'll still need to do some of the scripting. Well, I'll show you as we go on. Um, so I'm here in Club Threshold, which is Neon City's premier zero gravity dance club, which will be open to the public at the time when this video is posted. Um, cool, yeah, so we won't show that off right now. So let's get right into building. So we'll do this in my point of view. Okay, and I'm going to change things, of course. And I think I'm going to back up by this really neat holographic aquarium that Delco built, which is very neat. It makes me happy. And I'm kind of just chill right here. I'm going to pull out a building light just to really illuminate the space as we work here. So I'm going to bake a simple hand. I'm not going to do one this complex with all these. Yeah, we'll just do like a three-fingered hand. So, to start, we're going to do this, and if we're doing symmetry, if we know we're going to do symmetry, the first part that we pull out, I'm going to do snap angles and snap position. Also, not just the first part, but the center part, see, center, up. That becomes the horizon, or the mirror line when you do symmetry. So you put a part here and it's cloned over here. So just keeping that in mind, I'm going to put this... Really, it doesn't even have to be big at all. It's just a line. I'm going to make it neon red. So like there's no mistaking it. So let's build a simple hand, like really simple. I'm going to use, I'm going to take off snap for a moment, use this part. This is going to be the palm. Hey, that's a really big palm, right? And let us shrink it ink this a little down. Like, I'm thinking like this, right? It's about the right size. Context laser, that part. And the parts dot 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 menu. The last page, symmetry. Shoop, shoop, shoop. This is that line. So if I do symmetry this way, that's what I want. I want a left and a right hand. If I did symmetry this way, it's basically doing this line, going through 90 degrees of that. And so, it's pretty neat. And of course, which is fun. This I use, I've found I use a lot actually because there are many different things that you build especially like an avatar where you want it symmetrical so it's just easy to pop 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 just make sure that the center line is exactly the center of whatever it is you're building so we're back here this is the hand this will be the other hand this distance doesn't matter because we're going to split these off at the end and yes by the way you can do So you can have fun with that if you're making really fun things. So we got that down. Boom. Okay. So we're good there. Symmetry's on. We're going to keep using symmetry with all the finger parts. So let's see. What kind of hand do I want to make? Maybe a thumb and two fingers? Make it really, really simple. What shape do I like for that? Hmm, that's the hardest part, the crea creative part. Giving in to your whims and desires. That's a neat shape, I like that shape. That could 
be a fun shape for a finger. Context lives with that. Thing part menu. Scale uniformly. Yeah. Take off scale uniformly and stretch it to like a finger, right? Might be a little big, but it'll be good for this demonstration. I'm going to do symmetry. <laughs> I blocked it so you didn't see it, but boom. Now, here, when you have a part and you're going to split it off by putting two fingers in, grabbing with one trigger, and then moving it, that part inherits, of course I didn't actually show it, inherits any attributes on its dot 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 menu from the other one. So th that's why this one's already being symmetrical. It's already got that. And when I grab this, you will see, doop, doop, doop. it's like playing with a mirror. So there's our funky hand. But wait, we need at least one more digit. So I'll do this. I'll I'm not making knuckles in between. No joints. It's some sort of funky alien hand. Hmm, maybe if we do it green. Yeah. That's glowing. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. That's crazy. Now, if I put this hand on, the ring isn't going to quite line up. If I get the dot there, I really like having the ring line up onto the thumb as best as possible. This I've already made this kind of too big, but whatever. Alright, so we got some cool, crazy hands, metallic green, it's kind of nice. We can't do anything with this yet. We do need to replace his hand when worn. I'm going to hit done just to finalize it for a moment. Obviously, we're not putting this on because it's not its own thing. Yet. So here's where we have an option for doing these kinds of things. With symmetry. There is an option on the thing dot 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 menu on the back called split off completions. What that does is make the clone parts their own actual parts. Because right now, when I touch these, I'm not getting any haptic feedback. I can't grab these. They kind of don't exist for manipulation purposes. They are almost like a ghost image. So when you do split off completions, then they become their own. Thing that's no longer slave to this. So if I'm going to make a hand, one option I have is to do that now. I'm probably going to. And split these two as two things. Delete all of one side and delete all the other side. The other thing I could do is just go through, script everything so that the ghost gets the script as well. And then do that split off at the end, and that way I can make sure that they have the exact grabbiness, <laughs> the exact motions. I'm going to do that first. No, actually I'm not. I'm going to split off now. The reason I'm going to split off now is because of the script. And I'll show you. The script that we're going to use is... Load the keyboard, thank you. Ha. When told by body towards the end here. Hand triggered left then. Hand triggered right then. Hand triggered let go left then. Hand trigger let go right then. If I do this, and I'm going to, body hand triggered left then. Become next. And this hand is doing 0 0.2 seconds. It's kind of slow. And I did that because it would be good for this video. But I have made other hands since, and I do them as 0 0.1. So 
zero point one seconds. And that just feels more natural. It feels more like, well, other VR games that have hands that close when you press the trigger. I mean, most of them do. So this piece is now, when told by body, hand triggered left, then become next in 0 0.1 seconds. State 2. Make sure these are off. I just want to move it a little. Move it a little like it was actually starting to close. And you can get crazy with it, obviously. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm not going to do the rest of it just now. I am going to split this off. Because this is body hand triggered left. This part has inherited that exact script. If we go through, finalize these, make these two separate hands and put them on, this hand would close when the left hand's trigger is going. So we have to flip all those scripts. Instead of going in and editing each individual one, whatever, I like to do the hands separate. And I like them to be a little varied anyway. Right? I mean... <laughs> so, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to snap first. Okay, just to save that. Go back in. I hit done a lot. I like to save frequently. Save frequently, save often. I'm going to go thing part menu. I'm going to go split off completions. And then get a warning. This turns all mirrored and auto-completed parts into standalone parts. Continue. Cancel. Okay. Done. What did that do? That did this. See, now I'm moving this, and that one didn't move, and now I'm moving this. Snaps are on, that's why it's not freeform. They are now a collection of separate parts. Discard. Now, here's what I do. Two fingers in, push and drag, split. So let's say this is going to be my right hand. I'm going to delete the symmetry line, don't need it, and delete these parts. But, that symmetry line was the first part, it was also the center. Show center and direction, it's still there. That's funky. So we want to make the center the middle. So context laser, the middle part. Make a center. You hear the ding, it's done, and we're just going to leave it. That's a right hand that we're not going to do anything with right now. No pun intended. Same thing here. Make center. Boom. Did you see that finger move when I grabbed it? That's because technically I'm touching it. And I hit trigger with that left hand. So this is the only part right now that has a script. When told by body, hand triggered left, become next. There. For state two, we do the trigger let go. So when told by body, trigger let go left, then become state next in, and I type in 0 0.1 seconds. Ta-da! One, two, one, two. Great. We need this script, two states of script, on each one of these fingers. Which is why I did a three-fingered man and not a six-fingered man. So, there are a couple ways to do script copies. First, this copy and paste button, when you've context lasered something that you like, Copy and paste. Scripts. So, we'll just go through this real quick. Position, rotation, and size. These are awesome. I mentioned these, all of these, in my Iron Man style suit video. These are wonderful, because you can context laser position and paste it to every other part. So if you want to have a bunch of things in a line, perfectly lined up. No more, like, minute little movements to get them to line up and they're just off a tiny bit. Yeah, none of that anymore. You get very precise with these. Beautiful. So scripts. Scripts this state will copy just this state, which in this case was state 1. 
all states will copy, obviously, all states. In this case, state 1 and 2. We don't have a state 3 yet. That's why it's grayed out. So, just to show, I'll do copy this state and go back. And I'll co do the thumb tip. And I do paste this state. Paste it. Cool, right? Didn't give me a 2. And there is no 2 yet. Because, obviously, I only pasted state 1 of this part. But, let's do copy all states. What's cool, too, is these act as two different mm, copy caches. That's a good way to put it. So, this state right now is always remembering that it can paste just state 1 of this part. Whereas all states, separately gives you car insurance. No, 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 wait, 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 hold on. No, separately, this is now remembering both state one and two and can paste both of those at once. So if I paste here and I hit paste, note, even though state one is still the same as the one I had already pasted, it would overwrite whatever was here. That's important. It also will not um, do the position and it will reset every state's position to state one's position so right now you know that and two was moved right one two this didn't it didn't pick up state two's position it, I only copied the script I did not copy the position or the rotation of the size so it resets and it doesn't keep from anything else. So that's a, a tricky bit. If I went through and did two states of animation for each one of these fingers and then went through and pasted the script, it would have reset all of that. That's not so bad, you know, if it's just two states, but when you're talking a whole bunch of fingers, <laughs> or if you got really fancy with everything, you could accidentally ruin your day. <laughs> so I'm going to turn off snap angles, which automatically turns off snap position, so that I can freeform make that grabby. How's that look? Eh, whatever. So that, state two. So I'm going to run through the rest of these fingers pretty quickly. Paste. Paste. Because I've made several hands of animated fingers now, this is second nature to me. I don't even... It's like I'm on autopilot, so I'll try to stay slow for the sake of everyone watching this video who's trying to pick up some tips. So I'm on state two. So I want to make this bend in quite a bit. How far you go with the fingers, it's up to you. Completely up to you, just like everything that you build in any land. It's up to you. This is VR, you don't have to be real. I liked the look of this hand not closing into a full fist, like I'm going to punch somebody. But instead, this works also best for holding lightsabers and holding guns, because it is open enough of a hand that there's enough here. So, I'm doing that while remotely controlling that piece. Okay, so state one's there, state two. I want to do here. Now, obviously, a tip in animating these is do the inner parts first so that you can line up. Again, it's VR. You can totally feel free to make things clip unrealistically. That is your prerogative. 
Alright, so we got a funky green metallic hand of three fat fingers. Terrible for typing on a keyboard, right? Those are now animated both ways. With trigger pressed to go to state two, and in state two, trigger let go, opens it back up. On the thing part menu, we have replace hand, so it's going to do that. Let's let's test it. So I'm into my me menu. Hey, it's me. And I'm gonna put this hand on it. Before I do that, I should take this off so there's no chance of interference. And I like to get that white dot at the fingertip of my index finger and then try to like manipulate my hand around so that the ring basically gets on the thumb in an okay spot. Which, gosh, for the first time, that was pretty good. So, before I even do anything, this feels weird. Because these fingers are fat. They're way fatter than I'm used to, and it's three. So, if I hit trigger, they close. I let go of trigger, and they open. Obviously, the ring never moves. We know that. So, that's just a... A bit of funkiness but only you see your ring nobody else sees your ring so to everyone else it'll look normal they also don't see the white dot at the fingertip and now you can see the speed difference between 0 0.1 seconds and 0 0.2 seconds oh it's a tenth of a second yeah but this is what it actually looks like when animated This also looks a little more pronounced because these fingers are bigger and they're traveling more of a distance. And they're a lighter color than this dark metallic. So those are like art design tips, maybe color design tips. Dark things look smaller, lighter color things look bigger. So that's kind of funky, but it works. It totally works. If I want to do this hand, I wouldn't paste the scripts. Why? Because they are set to do left hand triggers, not right. But again, I can run through this really quickly because I've done this so many times. When told bye bye. This is weird to tap because it's fat and I feel like I'm going to literally fat finger it and miss. Then become next in 0 0.1 seconds. No, I ah, see, I wasn't paying attention. When told by body, this is why normally when I script things, triggered right then. I like a quiet environment. If I'm hanging out with Delco and Emily and a few friends, they're busy doing their own scripting stuff. There's not there's not a lot of chaos. Because <laughs> I can't think. And I like to get into that zen state. Right. Should we let go right then? Great, I'm going to copy those states. I'm going to turn off snaps. State 2. Actually, who cares? Paste. I'm going to do all the pasting first. Alright, 2. Step 2 for you will be there. State 2 for you will be there. There ish. It's a good spot. That looks vulgar. <laughs> If 
fact, you might realize as I'm doing this, you can make hand gestures all you want. See a context lizard I missed, but I didn't need the context lizard. I can grab a part at any time. Alright, make sure place his hand is on. Done. Alright, let's get funky. Goodbye, super cool robot arm. Hello, funky green alien chunky fingers. I missed the ring, but who cares, whatever. <laughs> so now, it feels weird. Because they feel unreal. Kind of like um, in Rec Room, you have like the mitt hands, the big mitts with a thumb, and you do that, and it's like... You get used to it real quick, though. I don't think I get used to this though, that's not my style. So, we did funky hands, and they open and close. Let's just do a, an external view. Funky hands that open and close with the triggers. Trigger left, trigger right, trigger left, trigger let go, trigger right, trigger right, let go. And those work. So that's cool. Let me show you another application of these hands. I'm going to save these hands because I'm going to put them, I'm going to make them clonable. We'll just put them at the, at the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make them clonable. I'm going to put them in the showcase board so that if anyone really wants to just have a sample, easy hands, they can feel free to deconstruct it, use it, edit it, whatever you need. So, nope, uh, me menu first. I'm going to show you real quick one of the other applications Spell Slinger. Yeah, okay. One of the other applications of doing this. An external point of view while I talk. Let me apply applications of this. This this avatar doesn't have those fingers that close. When we got this these new scripts in I don't know, it was like fall twenty eighteen there. My first thought was not to make grabby hands. It was really cool. I was like, duh, oh I should have thought of that first. My first thought and the reason I wanted that script all along was to be able to make spells that I could shoot out of my hands without First, pulling out a rune or a glove or something to put on. So I wanted to have spell effects. So, you know my old previous Mage Warlock avatar that had the spell book? I edited this, so it, this page and these, so that they no longer do orbs, but they do some different spell effects. So first I hit the bookmark to activate, and it puts runes on the back of my hands. Basically, it activates this script so that I don't accidentally trigger it or activate it elsewise. So I have to intentionally select, and that also resets it for me. So for my reference, I have the two runes that show up on the back of my gloves, and I can tap those to deactivate them. So what I just tapped on was actually snap fire, and this will look better my point of view, as you can see. Snapfire was a spell that I had made God, a long time ago, and you put it in your hand and it was a holdable, and every time you hit the trigger it would shoot a beam. I'll just show you. Ooh. Yeah, this club's on fire. Oh, sorry, I had to say that. It... The... The <laughs> stretches out and then releases a similar length beam 
which is emitted, it's a projectile. When that projectile hits, it plays a sound effect, it does the crumbles effect, and it spawns the old style part based flame, long before we did particle effect flames. It also has, you can probably tell as they're on the walls, its own light. It's technically an emitted light. They're also sticky. So they blow up, they leave a flame. It's zero gravity in here, so that's why those particle effects aren't hitting the ground. So, when I hit the rune, it goes away. I can click trigger all I want, and it stops. So, from my point of view, you can see Snapfire on the skull, Cat Soul Seal, Magic Missile. So, I can hit that. It closes the book, it doesn't do anything. It's my safety protocol, so I don't actually accidentally hit anything. Touch the bookmark, it lights up, get the runes, magic missile. Oh, out of the palm. It's got a trail, it blows up. stuff. So what is that? That is just another way to use those spell those spells. Ha. Those scripts. Because in this case what I'm saying is I hit the bookmark and it tells parts in my hands to go to a state two, at which point they're listening for the next script, which is which spell that I choose off my book. So when I do Magic Missile, it then tells those parts, hey, Magic Missile selected, go to the next state, and that state just stays there idle, and it listens for when trigger right pressed, and when trigger left pressed, then emit, in this case, the Magic Missile that I created with the particle effect. And so then every time I hit trigger, it does that. When I hit the runes on the back of my hands, that tells all those parts that are in those states ready to shoot and fire and listen to a certain script to go back to state one, reset, so that I can actually, you know, grab things and manipulate things without <laughs> firing off magic everywhere. You know, gotta have some control. <laughs> and other thing I've been working on, which I, I'm not going to show right now, but in fact, no, I'm not going to show it at all. <laughs> I'm working on another avatar. It's a robot version of myself. And uh, recently, when Delco and I were DJing at Fireworks Beach Night, um, RustyBot had sh been showing off his avatar to me, and I had just a whole bunch of great ideas from seeing him. And he has fingers because his robot that convert into different things and I was like yes using the scripts to trigger off other things so that was very very neato so I'm gonna do one more go back to myself ah and that's the skinny the quick and dirty uh, tutorial on how to make those grabby hands and now I want to do it with every hand that I've ever had because I'm an idle clicker. I like on a computer on a mouse, I'm always like click 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 drag click drag click drag click. I know it drives people crazy, but whatever. <laughs> it's my thing. So in VR, if you've ever you probably go back and watch all of my vids and notice this once you once I pointed out that I click the triggers all the time. Like I just sit here and like click 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 click. So now I can actually watch my hands open and close. And maybe it'll break me of that habit. Mm, probably not. So, I hope that was helpful. I hope that it gave you some ideas and that, you know, lets you kind of level up with some of your design of your avatar, your hands, and then go and try those trigger scripts on your hands to do other things. Because there's some, well, there aren't just some things you can do with that. It's kind of like unlimited things you can do with that, right? I mean, you can shoot blaster shots or magic missiles out. You could have it spawn crazy things. 
we got the retract and rep repel yeah retract and repel scripts well, that hand I've been working on changes this orb's color and so whenever I hit trigger in for repel everything that's emitted or thrown around me just goes flying away well, within a radius it goes flying away and then when I hit attract it'll all come to me so it's almost like having force powers force push and force pull so just one of those ideas so go have fun enjoy it and have a great day deactivate recording mode <laughs>